Hey guys, welcome along to another video. So the four boys out this weekend. We've got um, a long weekend available, so we're going to try and knock over a deer or two and maybe a chamois if we get up into the high stuff. Uh, yeah, came in after work last night. We've got three pretty good days of weather. It's the first for like, what, two months now? Mm. That's been horrible, so I'm so pretty excited. Um, what's your plan team, man? Oh, well, we did have pretty uh, great plans to so, um, hit the tops and sat by this nice time, but um, on the weekend I came off a lime scooter at full noise <laughs> and knocked myself out. And, Still a bit concussed to be honest, so, <laughs> so this is why we're hunting the flats mate, yeah, so we're just going to take it easy for the next few days, probably, mm. we'll see. Taking it easy, doing a bit of huts flanting, it's a <laughs> beautiful spot for it, so yeah. it's good to have all the boys out on the trip and I've been looking forward to this one for a while, so pretty keen to get into it. Yeah, you, it's a nice good, good guys. Okay, hey. Yeah. 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 Hey, go to the back there, Sandy. Just, just wondering about it. Eh? <laughs> Overseeing the operation. <laughs> Summertime chanting. <laughs> Boots in the water. They're water. Boots in the water. What do you see, mate? It's a spot of the first deer of the trip. We're high in the form, which is pretty cool, eh? It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, which is kind of cool. Literally had your binos out for yeah. five seconds, eh? Point it out for us, then. I've been talking about how sexy that clearing is. Yeah, we did say it'd be cool to shoot something on there. Here's Mitch just ruining the. Yeah, Mitch is about to scare his deer away with his drone. What's sign language for deer? Ah, uh, he's coming. What's this? Um, yeah, yeah, do that, yeah. <laughs> To do. She's a long way up. Buddy, it's a long way up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wee way up, eh? Putting the long, really, aren't we? Mm. Heading up the valley. We cruise up there another, what, hour? Mm. Hour and a bit. Seen a nice spot to pitch our tent for the night. And then go for a wee evening hunt, see if we can knock a couple of deer over. Take the pressure over tomorrow. I was crossing the riverbed. Oh, just. Re <laughs> Boys have gone to their nice dry gear. And I spotted a deer just over there. <laughs> just over and there. And you're going up there, eh, Mitch? Yeah, I think me and Randy are going to go for a climb. Me and Aiden are going to just take it easy. Well, actually, Aiden's looking after me just in case something goes wrong with me. I'm really doing it for you, Chris. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate your sacrifice, yeah, eh? <laughs> good luck, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Shoot this deer for me. Shot roll. Good luck, fellas. Good boys. Good luck, mate. See you a bit later See you in a couple hours. See you in a couple hours, eh? Good luck. See you. Ready and I are just hunching up through the bush, getting after this deer, which we haven't seen in a while. But um, hopefully there's a few deer up there and we can get one on the ground. But hopefully make it there before dark, and hope there's still a deer out. Pretty, What's the champ, pretty gnarly, bro. We won't go down that way. Yeah. 
I think we picked the deepest face to climb. Boys, Yeah, to be off there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'd be a bit of deer up here, eh? Yeah, there are. Oh, man. Nice, man. That was fun. It's good as ours, to us, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And then we just finally spotted the deer again. After climbing up, we've broken up to the left and stuff. There's a fawn there, man. Oh, I think they're all pregnant. Oh, I joke. <laughs> oh, man. Which one's the yearling? Is the yearling on the far left? So after all our bloody efforts climbing that hill, we <laughs> only got eyes on them and the bloody group of pregnant hinds and there might have been a yearling in there but it's too hard to tell so we ended up leaving them so it's back down to fucking camp. Hopefully get down there before it gets too dark but it's, <laughs> it's already pretty oh, dark. Nice thing, <laughs> um, yeah, we're pretty rooted now. Um, awesome climb. The view from up here is just absolutely incredible, like it's well worth the climb alone and some pretty cool footage of that bloody fawn running around. Yeah. <laughs> um, nah, not to be this time so hopefully tomorrow morning we can get on the board. The lads are up for a wee morning stroll, it's just gone about 5.30 so Gonna walk these flats for the morning and just see what comes out, really.
boys have just been uh, having a pretty leisurely day today, just chilling out in the sun and whatnot, but we've got a nice wee valley behind us, so we slice a fuel in, so we're going to push up there, about two or three k's to the back, so we hopefully get on some chamois or deer and see what we see really, it's about 3.30 now, so hmm. animals will start moving. Beautiful afternoon for it. Absolutely fizzing. So to get away from the sand flies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Set up. It's not that far out. Nah, that's not far at all. I'll get the range finder out of it. Shit. <laughs> Boys are on. Who's up? Listen. We've just spotted two deer like a couple hundred metres just beneath us on the riverbed. Um, so it's really looking good for a shot. Uh, that hind disappeared and you know, we were sort of debating whether we carry out the valley. But you know, if this can work out, it's bloody awesome. Just might even be able to get a side by side shot going if we're off with the big wreath. <laughs> If they don't have a shot through there, it's like the smallest little channel where you've got to shoot through, and there's just, just not enough space to do it. Um, so, we're going to find a slightly more open spot, which is down, just down here, I think, apparently. So, we've got all four packs again to try and get some height above the bush and hopefully make a good shot. <laughs> that's the one, standing broad time. Here we go. Don't move, boys, don't move. Okay. We're all good. Got to get in the trouble, we? we need it the most. Right in the middle of the riverbed now, some of us. Oh, I don't want to shoot it because it could be dangerous. Ah, uh, use that gun. If you're in business, Aiden, give me a minute and we'll get into it. Good jump. Got him? Top one's broadside, there's a bit of drop though. You hit it, you hit it, you hit it fucking back, reload, you hit it sort of quite far down the body, it's a gut shot, it's the bottom one now, bottom one is it? Bottom one, yep, you hit it in the, in the gut, alright there's more ammo on the top of my pack boys, I'll keep an eye on them, you want to try the 300 again Sandy or? Is it the bullet? Yeah. Oh, the back one's just... The back one might have just dropped, boys. Alright, there you go, there's your shot. If it's that still. Nah, it's f***ing running now. Well, that was less than optimal, to say the least. Um, we're going to go over there and look for some blood and see if we can't, can't track it and hopefully it's gone down. Um, it feels terrible. It feels it's absolutely not. terrible. Yeah. It's not a good thing. So we ended up finding the deer in the end. We were really thankful we managed to find him. We sort of we knew it hit him so it was a bit of a worst case scenario there having a wounded animal but in the end managing to find it and some meat out of it. It's probably the best case scenario out of the situation. Um, yeah and it just shows the importance if you do have a bit of a poor shot and you end up wounding your animal, um, go after it, have a look, you owe it to the bloody animal to, to try and find it whether you're tracking its blood trail or you get lucky like us and you find the, the animal. But Yeah, how do we feel boys? Yeah, I think that sums it up pretty much, doesn't it? Mm. It's not nice to do but it has to be done. Um, and have a, have a deer on the deck, so a bit of a mixture of emotions really. This is the first big game animal that we've ever cut shot. Aside from a few unlucky rabbits and wallabies growing up, something that we've managed to avoid. As hunters, it's our responsibility to harvest our meat in a clean and ethical way. We were in half a mind to delete this footage and pretend it never happened, uh, but instead we thought it was a good opportunity to share our experience and highlight what can go wrong and what we think the right thing is to do when it does. We owe it to the animal. Where are boys? Oh man, thanks for leading the way and through the hard shit ready. <laughs> Fuck you man. Yeah.
Thanks, mate. You're welcome. Beautiful. Mm. So tender. Oh, mate. Yeah, it's very hard. You've done yourself, eh? Oh, here we are at the uh, hut. Nice, easy walk out. It's been uh, quite an easy, easy wee three or four days, eh, Liz? Um, <laughs> obviously, change of, change of plans due to my, my head knock. Um, wouldn't really recommend hunting with a concussion. There's been a few battles like yesterday and the day before, and like questioning whether I should be out here or not. But nah, it's pretty good to get away with you, lads, all four of us, for a change. Yeah, yeah a couple of days are just perfect weather. A little bit windy this morning, but other than that, it's just been blue skies and full moons. It was just pretty epic, eh? Um, Hunting didn't go exactly according to plan, a little bit off track there, but um, still ended up with a good result, walking away with heavy packs, lots of good meat for the families over Christmas time. Yeah, the bloke could have come and explore some new terrain in the valley, that um, valley went up yesterday, that was incredible. Um, plenty of animals around, which is also awesome, and uh, unfortunately the excitement that was yesterday, when, I went to, when we went to grab the deer, I took my bite harness off and didn't pick it back up. <laughs> so, <laughs> 95% sure we know where it is, so we might have to go back out next weekend and see it. Could be a massive weekend, so. Just get some extra, I'll say. But now it's been epic, really enjoyed it. So you will check that trip on at the end of the video. Yeah, Yeti, so cheers for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We've bloody enjoyed the trip. Um, been a humdinger. Animals, good weather. <laughs> been beautiful. And, um, good luck for the trip. Enjoy it, boys. Cheers, cheers. Well, here's the other one. Great success.